Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought it would be fun to share with you guys my everyday makeup routine. And I've been wanting to film this for a while now, but every time that I do my makeup to go out or go to uni, I'm always like running late. So I don't have time to do a proper sit down and walk through all my steps. But today I have a day off and I have something on later on during the day. So I'm going to do my makeup now and I thought I may as well share it with you guys. So yeah, I got my iced coffee ready to go. I got my mirror in front of me, which is over here. And yeah, let's get on into it. The first thing that I do is put my hair back. I don't understand how people can do their makeup with their hair in their face. Even if they just clip like their bangs aside and still have the rest of the hair down. I don't know how they do it. So I have to clip it all up. First thing I do is apply some sunscreen. I use this one that I got from Yes Style. It's just a clear sunscreen with SPF 50 plus. So I'm about to run out. So I use it quite a lot. I just like to rub it in with my hand. Now that that's done, I'm gonna do my foundation. I use the Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Foundation and it comes in like a little tube with a pump, which I really like about it. Um, this one, I've used a lot of foundations. I've tried all the Remmel ones. Um, I tried the Revlon Colorstay and just heaps of different ones and this one is the one that I find works best. It goes on really really well. It's really smooth. It doesn't look cakey and yeah it's a perfect match to my skin color as well. So I just do three little droplets and I take my beauty blender which looks disgusting. I'm so sorry. Um, I definitely don't wash this as often as I should but honestly who does? <laughs> Please tell me if you do wash it frequently because that is respectable. And now that foundation is done, I applied a teeniest bit of concealer. And the one I use is, no, that's my mascara. Um, this one. Thin Lizzy again, flawless complexion. I just put a little bit on this one. This one's really high coverage and a little bit goes a long way. Literally just like that much. I put it around my nose right here because that's where the most redness is. And then I might just add a bit more around like my inner cheeks, down my nose and my forehead. Because that's where the most discoloration is on my face. And then I just use my fingers to blend it in initially. Initially? <laughs> initially. Because it's hard to get around the nose like right here with a sponge. So I just do it with my fingers, blend it out like slightly. And then I take a sponge and I even it out. Okay, now that everything's blended out, I don't set it right away. In fact, I do my eyebrows next. Reason being is because when I fill in my brows, I have a tendency to overfill them. So I have to like fix it off with more concealer or just blend it, blend it in more. And I find that if you set it with a powder straight away, if you try to add more product on top, it just kind of goes like cakey and flaky and it just doesn't look nice. But if you leave it as it is now, fix it up first, and then you set it with a powder, it's just a lot easier, I feel like, and it looks a lot better. I don't really have a special way to fill in my brows. I kind of just follow my natural shape. And I feel like my brows are already kind of dark enough on their own. So I really just go in and fill in some slightly bolder patches, but it's really not a lot. Just kind of the ends, and I drag it out following my natural line as well yeah i don't really use a lot and then i just comb it out oh sorry i forgot to tell you which one i use um i can't really tell <laughs> with this um but i'm fairly certain it's the remel london brow pencil in the shade oh i can see it a little bit black brown yeah in black brown it's so hard to find brow pencils here at least that are not brunette and actually kind of like grayish blackish. Um, but this is the only one that I can find that's 
um, kind of my shade. And yeah, it works pretty well. So that's what I've been using since. And it's one of those that doesn't look bluish or like grayish under the lighting when you take photos. It does look really natural, so I like this one. So for all my Asian gals out there, this is the one to go. And I always go back in with the beauty blender just in the middle here. Just run over the front of it because I don't like the front of it to look that dark. I like it to look a bit more light and natural. Just to clean up around the edges, I use another concealer. I use this roll-on concealer. It's just a lot easier to blend in than the other liquid ones. So this one is the Maybelline Brightening Cream concealer i got this one for free actually i bought makeup at one of those like pop-up stands and i think i spent over a certain amount and it just threw one in for me another like, oh bet but yeah because this one's a stick it's just a lot easier to blend in and it's not as messy so just around the top it's on my brows and i just kind of use my fingers and blend it in now that brows are done i set my whole face with powder and the one i use is I think it's Skin Foods. I'm not too sure. I'll look it up. I got it on Yes Star, but it's just this like peach little container. Oh yeah, Skin Food Peach Cotton Multi Finish Powder. This one is really good. I've used some other loose setting powders before, but this one is really nice in that the, the powder is very smooth. It's very fine, so it doesn't really cake up anything. So I just pour a little bit. And I use a little pad that it comes with, and I just dip some on like that. And I just do it lightly all over my face. Okay, for my eyes, if I do wear eyeshadow on those days, um, I'm gonna, I usually use my Sports Girl Beauty, Sports Girl, Sports Girl Beauty Dream Girls Eye and Face Palette. Looks like this. I got this a few years back, so I'm pretty sure they don't do it anymore. But the colors in there, I'm sure you can find them in other palettes. So yeah, looks like this. And as you can see, I only use these few shades and I use that for eyeliner. So what I do, it's very natural. You can hardly tell the camera, but in person, yeah, you can't really tell either, but there's still a difference. So it's all right. First color I take is spicy which is this creamy whitish color dab onto my brush tap up excess and i put it in my inner corner just to give it a little highlight and then i take some more and place it under my brows on my brow bone just to give my brows an extra lift now that's done i put enough which is this whitish color as well, but it's kind of more creamy yellowish. It's very close to the skin color. And I just put that all over my lids. Out of two thirds. Up until my crease. And I just kind of blend it in. Okay, I don't look that much different now, but this is a bit that changes it, I think. So then I take Reckless, which is the darkest shade out of all three. Take that on my brush and I put it on my near my lash line on the outer third, bring it out, and then do like a V connecting it to my crease with my lower lash line. No, upper lash line. Sorry. I'm not a beauty guru for this reason. That's pretty much it. And then I do eyeliner next i used the revolution tasty palette for oh my gosh the amount of fingerprints i'm sorry um i use the shade americano which is this one here for my eyeliner and i've been getting into the winged eyeliner recently so i've been doing that quite frequently so i just tap it and sorry i'm gonna have to bring you a bit angle a bit so you can see me still. I go really close to my lash line and 
for the wing I just kind of draw a random one I think that's okay I hope that's okay kind of like that and to blend it out a bit more to make it look more natural I use a pencil brush and I just kind of smudge it out because I don't like having such a harsh line and next is my absolutely favorite bit mascara it changes up your look so much so this is my before first I curl my lashes and I used a manicure I think this is the professional one so it's gold but I literally see no difference between this one and normal silver one so there you go okay so now that my lashes are curled mascara I use the heroin make long and curl mascara advanced formula this one is like one of the very few mascaras that can actually hold up my curled lashes and not let them drop in like two minutes they actually last for the whole day only kind of downside is it's a little bit hard to remove but it's okay it's fine i managed to do it so yeah i'm in need of a new one i just ordered one but yeah this is my absolutely favorite mascara i'm running out there's not much product on the brush which is a little bit frustrating can we just appreciate the difference between the two eyes when I do mascara? That's done, that's not done. Look how much more awake and bigger my eyes look with the done one. It's amazing, it's magic. I love it so much. Um, and I also use another coat of the Barry M That's How I Roll Waterproof Mascara. I really like the brush for this and I just use it for separation. Looks like that. Okay, I feel like I look so much more awake and just look a lot better right now with my mascara on. But yeah, now that brows and eyes and most of the face is done, last steps that I do, blush and highlight. And for blush, I'm using the Thin Lizzy palette. And their blushes are so cute. They're all very shimmery and shiny. And they have good colours too. But I find that the one that works best for me is this one that's more like a um brownie tone as compared to like the pinkier ones here. Which is really sad because I love those colours but they just don't look the best on my skin tone. So take a bit of that one. Apples on my cheeks. And I put a bit on my nose too. And then the last, which is my second favorite step of the routine, is highlight. Um, generally for everyday wear, I use the Rebel Blush Bronzer Highlight Set. Um, as you can tell, I have used that highlight a lot. But since I'm going out today, I'm going to use a more shimmery highlight. Um, usually I use the Thin Lizzy one as well, and I use the yellowy one. But I also have this sleek one, so open, these four shades. Um, but the one I want to use today is from Prism, I think. It's just this little square one, and it has these two gorgeous shades. And I just use a fluffy brush like that. Um, just tap on it because it's quite pigmented. Just on my nose, along the bridge. And there you go. That's mostly it. I would also do my lips, but I'm still drinking my coffee and I don't want to get lip product on that. But, um... The lip product that I generally use is just like a tinted lip balm. Um, usually Maybe Maybelline Baby Lips in the shade Cherry Kiss. And that's my favorite. So yeah, there you go guys. That is my everyday makeup routine. It's not that different from just what I look like usually. It, I still look like me, I feel like, but just better. <laughs> but 
Oh my goodness. Can you just stay, please? Why are you so dumb? Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.